Welcome to Chronos Editing. Micro learning lessons to help you code efficiently. Lesson 5. Advanced PTO option. As you know, some of our exempt and non-exempt employees are on flex down schedules or furloughs. Because of this, many of them will utilize their PTO or DT time to supplement their weekly salary. That's why the organization instituted the, the advanced PTO option to help employees who have exhausted their PTO and DT time. Let's see how the option works. If the employee exhausted all PTO and has no DT time available, the employee may elect an advance on their PTO for up to 14 workdays or shifts based on their authorized hours and regular work schedule. Once the employee goes into a negative balance, you will receive a warning on Kronos. Click yes to override the warning. Calculating the advanced PTO option can be challenging. Luckily, here are the guidelines. For a 12-hour shift, the max is 168 hours, for a 10-hour shift, 140 and for an 8-hour shift, the maximum is 112. Here are some helpful hints as you code. Know that this option is voluntary. Check with the employee before applying the advancement. If they would like to go into a negative balance, please ask them to send you the confirmation in writing. Advanced PTO hours can be for full or partial days. The employee may not want to use all the hours in one pay period, and would prefer to space out those hours. This advancement is only for COVID-19 related reasons. Non-COVID reasons should be coded with PTO or PTU codes and cannot go into a negative balance. Advanced PTO balances needs to be monitored by editors so employees will not go over their weekly work schedule max. Advanced PTO is only available till May 9th. Now you know how to code for advanced PTO, but should you need additional assistance, feel free to reach out to the payroll department at payroll.corrections at